get the cappuccino inversion, baby. So we started hiking at one. Uh, everyone's got on at least 25 kilograms. We're straight into a win, into a rainstorm. Daniel's crushing it. So we're two and a half hours in. A little bit of sun now. And uh, probably 300 meters elevation to go in about an hour. And then uh, camp. We've got well under a K, uh, probably about 50 meters or less elevation. So really just want to get there and get the cooker on. How is it? Everyone's arriving. Yeah. Life is good, yeah? Life is very good. How was today? Real good, man. That last hour was a little bit draining. Uh -huh. Kept on going and going and going, but we're here now. We've uh, got to altitude 2800, cave camp. Cave camp. And uh, four hours, pretty much on the spot. Um, last hour is definitely a bit draining. We've all got more than 25 kilograms in our bags. We've got two set up down there. And then we've got the love nest here. So see, yeah. how was your sleep? Good, manageable. Manageable. Yeah. 10 hours sleep. We were on a, on a hill, so it wasn't that great. Kept on rolling. Monkeys in the night, you hear the monkeys? I heard loads of Something shit. was on that tin roof. Uh, I reckon it was a lion. Tigers, koala bears. I see it all. Yeah. Oh, that is pretty amazing. I didn't think we'd see the mountain for four days because of the cloud. There it is, hon. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at Barranco Camp, 4,000 meters. So we've just done the biggest slog we are, we're gonna have to do. At a, it's a 1,200 meter altitude gain. Um, over a short period of time, I think it was only six kilometers. So it was, it was real steep, real hard work. Taking us just over four hours. But we're here at Barranco Camp. We're gonna do uh, do lunch, have a break, hour and a half or so. Lighten the load because we're gonna stash some gear here, and then uh, off we go again. Clouds started to dissipate a little bit. See a bit more of the surroundings. Woo! Branco camp. Uh, yeah, we've had a little bit of rest. Eva's eating all the food. Lighten the packs a little bit, stuff we don't need for the summit. And we're gonna go. Matt's enjoying the long hike. 2k uphill, no good. <laughs> it's been a long old day. Maybe. Absolutely spent. Spent. <laughs> Old mate still in his shorts, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, what are you playing at? <sighs> no one Nearly there. Those. Eva's absolutely charging up front. Same thing every day. One o'clock starts raining. Five o'clock, the sun starts burning the cloud off the western side. And there we have it. The breach wall. Reynold Messner's ice falls. 200 meters into a camp. Still need to uh, rest. 200 meters seems nothing, but I'm still resting every 50 to 100 meters. Yeah, nearly there. The cloud has lifted. It's amazing. Yeah, the wind picks up a lot in the evening. It's six o'clock now, and uh, we're going to get up at two. And. Um, 
go for a really early ascent, early summit push, and then spend the rest of the day trying to find the exit with the ropes. So yeah, see how it goes. Pretty windy. It's about half three. I'm crushing it. So we've just come to the first bit of uh, snow steps. Uh, cutting steps just because it's a little small bit. But uh, yeah, it's going well so far. I think now we've got to switch on because it's starting to get a little bit less like hiking and more like mountaineering. <laughs> and we're all tired and it's early and it's high altitude. Yeah, Dan, yeah. <sighs> Jackson holding up the rear. Yes, brother. Yep. Take you see this step here, Sos. That's really good. Solid to your foot. Now we've got Barranco, you can actually see Barranco camp, so it's a good, good feeling that. And now it's started snowing, which is not good, but I'm pretty sure the crater rim's just there. And then an easy plod to our base camp, to our final camp, our base camp, advanced camp which is only half an hour away from the summit. <coughs> we'll uh, have to make a plan what we're going to do, whether we're going to fix the ropes, search for the exit, maybe after lunch, once we've warmed up and got some calories down us. But one step at a time. How's it going? It's also good. What do you have to do? It's so incredible, man. I think I'm going to go So, when we pass this slope here, so see? Yeah. We'll be on the crater. Yeah. And on the crater, we leave the bags. Okay. Because the camp is there. Yeah. And then we head to the summit. Let me see the summit. How's it going, guys? Yeah, yeah. Feeling good? Yeah, 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 yeah bro. Yes. Feeling good, guys? Good. Nice one. Good. These guys are absolute heroes. Getting to points where they can't find the bags, so lift it, put it above them. Incredible effort. Yeah. Yes, mate. Reached the uh, summit plateau. Everyone's done incredible, incredible work to get here. Little, little plod, little short walk, set up camp, and then continue to the summit. So we got into our last camp. It's 
pretty high one and uh, ditched our kit and we're doing the summit push without any kit light and fast even though we're definitely not fast then Matt and I is gonna sneak off probably that way try and find some inkling of the exit we'll see a race yeah It's a lot harder than I thought it would be, bro. <laughs> You're beauty. <laughs> Good job, guys. Thank you very much, guys. And we're on our way down. Come back through Stella Point. Everyone was pretty damn wasted. Got a nice track on the way home. Daniel's absolutely toasted. The Rafu Camp. Yeah, bro. And eight hours to the gate, apparently. We'll see. So this is probably the last view of the mountain before we head into the clouds. So yeah, 